A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agoncha. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has granted political parties the permission to go ahead with campaigns ahead of the rescheduled presidential election. INEC spokesperson Festus Okoye in a statement said the commission reached the decision following due consultations with political parties. He says campaigns will begin with immediate effect and end on Thursday, 21st of February. Meanwhile, the electoral body has denied allegations that the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, offered bribe to its REC officer in Adamawa State. Well, this is in response to reports on social media that the former vice president had compromised the elections in Adamawa State, offering $1 million bribe plus a house in Dubai to the INEC official. The People's Democratic Party is currently holding an emergency National Executive Committee meeting at its headquarters in Abuja. The meeting comes hours after the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, said political parties were free to continue with their campaigns. President at the meeting is the national chairman of the party, which is Secundus, presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar, Senate President Bukola Saraki, and other party stalwarts. Former Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan has called for peace ahead of the coming elections. At a meeting with Niger Delta youth leaders in Yenogwa, Jonathan urged politicians in the country to embrace peace and shun violence. He also encouraged youths not to allow themselves to be used by selfish politicians. While the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has stopped the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, from declaring the chairman of the defunct pension reform tax team, Abdul Rashid Maina wanted. Delivering judgment on the case, Justice Gua Ogumbanjo ruled that the move by the anti graft agency to declare Maina wanted was unlawful and infringed on his fundamental human rights. The National Bureau of Statistics says the Federal Account Allocation Committee has disbursed a sum of 270.17 billion naira to the federal government in January 2019. In its latest disbursement statistics posted on its website, the NBS said state received a total of 178.04 billion naira, while local government received 133.83 billion naira. And two policemen have been confirmed killed, with three others wounded in a bomb attack by militants in the Egyptian capital, Cairo. The attack has been confirmed by the Interior Ministry, which says security officers are in pursuit of the perpetrators. And in sports, Novak Djokovic has received the Laurier Sportsman Award of the Year. The 31-year-old Serbian is winning the award for a fourth time, beating the likes of Kylian Mbappe and NBA superstar LeBron James. In the women's category, iconic American gymnast Simon Bowles received the Sportsman of the Year Award for the second time. And that's the latest from our newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fidelia Agoncha. Bye for now.